front where it says Ames real big. All right, everyone. I'm out here in West Mifflin I'm at Handel's Ice Cream. It closed up over a year ago now. And it, it seems like a lot of people were sad that it was closing. There were plenty of reviews from this location uh, of people saying that they were sad that it was closing. And it's just been empty since. It's just been sitting here going to waste ever since. Um, not, I don't understand why an ice cream place would go out of business if they were good. So I'm sure there's something else that had something to do with it. Because every time I would come out here... Even though it wouldn't be often, I would always see a good number of people here getting ice cream. And I got ice cream here a couple of times over the years and thought it was pretty good. And unfortunately, it's just a hole out here now. So um, I thought I'd check it out. I know people ask me to check it out in the past, and I just don't come down this way a whole lot. I wanted to do drone videos over C3. Uh, more often, but every time I'd come out here, the weather's just not cooperating. The wind is just the biggest problem with that. So uh, as soon as I can, I will send the drone back over the mall again. Like it's even breezy now, but I don't think it would be bad enough for the drone to fly. But I have to check batteries on it anyway. I think they need charged. Anyway. Might as well get out of the car and start taking a look at handles instead of me sitting here facing the Long Johns and A&W, which is just making me hungry for hush puppies. So, might have to do this. We're not going to find any sitting on the window ledges of this place like we did in Indiana back in April. So, anyway, come along with me. We'll check out handles. All righty, here you go. Handles for sale. The poor sign just sits here flopping in the wind. You have the big sign that would catch your attention on the main drive over there, Lebanon Church Road. We'll take a better look at that in a moment. But here you go, the old handles. This was a nice little joint. Now it's just a dumping ground for people's garbage. At least they're trying to put them in the trash cans. There's a look inside. You can see in there very well. They have they had a lot of windows here too to help as many customers as possible. A lot of windows. Handles flavors. Um, nothing, and there's a whole lot of nothing, but I think the nothing one sounds really good today. This would be your seating area. They had benches here. Little tables people would sit at. And on a summer evening like this, you'd see a bunch of people here all the time. This was a nice little joint. Oh, here we go. They didn't take the flavors off of this one. Chocolate chip cookie dough. Can't go wrong with that. Cinnamon roll, too. Chocolate. Cake batter. Chocolate cake batter? Yeah, that. <laughs> Window closed. Nice little seating arrangement along the side here, too. You could drive in through here, or the way I did. 
That sign is destroyed. That one is gone. They seem to be a dying breed. I, I've seen a few clothes. We don't have a whole lot of these around here to begin with, but I've seen a few of these clothes now. But the ones that are open do very well from what I see. The trash area is home to a lovely tree. And yeah, down here is the sign I told you about. This would be all their parking. Garbage cans just filled. Nice little area out here though. Get right down the hill, you got Wendy's, you could get yourself a Frosty, but I don't want that. But yep, there was your big sign to get your attention on Lebanon Church Road. If you didn't know any better, and you saw that and pull in, you'd be disappointed when you get to the building and see that it's empty. Weeds growing through the cracks in the pavement. And unfortunately, that is it. Now, I don't understand why the handicap parking was back there. They should have put it here make it easy. It's closer, but if you notice, that's one way in, and maybe not everybody knew that. That was the main driveway into the place. But yep, this was Handles. Handles Flavors. Once again, there's your look inside. Not much going on in there. Anyway, I guess that will be a wrap. Imagine if another ice cream place could take over this joint, a little mom and pop place. If I was capable of doing it, I would I would try it. And then there's that. <laughs> oh, do hush puppies sound good right about now? Am I really that fat though? I just ate a little bit ago. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna hold off this time. I'm gonna hold off. Can't be that fat all the time. I mean I can, but you know. My band director in high school used to tell me, Walter, if you think it's a good idea, don't. So, it's probably not a good idea. And there were a lot of ideas that I thought were good in high school that weren't. It's probably the reason why he retired after my senior year. <laughs> I drove him straight into retirement with the rest of my drumline. Fun little fact, I was on drumline in high school. And we drove our band director nuts. Great person. He loved us. We loved him. But we drove him nuts. None of that of which has to do anything with this video. But the point was, me thinking Hush Puppies is a good idea probably isn't today. So Anyway, I'm going to wrap up this video. I appreciate you all watching. And I'm grateful to have you here. Until we meet again in the next video, wherever it might be, take care of yourselves and stay awesome. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.